Hello, welcome back. Today I'm here with Michael Jackson. He's going to share some steps with us that will help you extend the longevity of your garments. Also share a couple of things that you can do at home before bringing your garments to the cleaner to ensure exceptional results during your next visit. So today we're gonna to talk about some tidbits that'll help you with your dry cleaning. One, read the care label when you buy something and your garment, your blouse, your jacket, read the care label, it will tell you a lot. Note any stains that are on the garment. Tell them at the counter when you have a stain, what it is, if you know, that's the best. And remember this, that the sooner you get that item to the dry cleaner after you put a stain on it, the better. Check your garments for existing damage. But take a look at your garments. Remember, th these are you pay good money for these. Don't go and grab club soda and put it on a towel and start trying to rub that stain out. What you want to do is you could blot it with plain water. Just remember what the stain is and get it to us as soon as possible. Many times I see customers or I see people just leave their plastic bag on their garments. Don't do that. Remember, textiles are living, breathing things, so you want that to breathe and allow it to dry. Now remember this, textile is just like a car. Drive it off the lot and guess what? It starts wearing and tearing right away. A lot of people think that, well, if I get it dry clean, it'll look brand new. That's not the case. To prolong the life of that garment, we certainly do recommend professional dry cleaning, and that's why you bring it to us.